Hello world, this is the Herald News Show on RC3. Our next talks are on RC1 at 1500. There is a talk about the extradition of Julian Assange. On RC2, you can inform yourself about tracking ransomware end to end at 1400. Chaos Studio Hamburg presents a talk about the protests that happened in Bulgaria in this rather eventful year, also at 1400. And if you think the world needs betterment, then head to the stream of the sea base. Uh, on which Atoll will give you some low-level guides on how to make the world better. And now for some more RC3 introductions. We have told you about our mission and where to find tasks. Now it's about what to do if you get lost or just have a question that needs answering. For all of these purposes, RC3 has the info desk. As always, we have an info desk. While staff will have for people as usual, this time the info desk is virtual and can be reached via email or event phone or other ways of um, reaching the InfoDesk, which you can find on their website. The InfoDesk team has already compiled some frequently asked questions on their website and will be collecting and adding more throughout the event. Please check there first. Chaos events, and especially C3s, have strived to be inclusive as possible, so it is that RC3 will again provide subtitling and translation services for talks in our main tracks. A virtual setup of RC3, however, provides new challenges for these teams. Percy Day and TD were nice enough to talk to me about how subtitles are done at RC3, and now you're going to see that interview. Thank you very much. So, I'm here with Perky Day and TD from the subtitles team, and they were nice enough to tell me how subtitles are actually done at C3 events and how they are done at RC3. Hello. Hi. Hi. So how do you usually do subtitles for all those nice videos we produce? So, well, the, the first step is um, to maybe clarify that we're not doing live subtitling for talks while they're held, but we're taking the, the finished video recordings and then producing subtitles for those so that when you watch those later uh, at home or maybe on your phone while you're on the go then you can have nice subtitles to go with them and the way we do that is by first creating a transcript of the talk and we're using speech detection software to get uh, a raw transcript so to say but usually those contain lots of errors. So um, because speech detection software is not, not really that good, and especially if people have some accent, then that makes it hard for speech detection software. So um, for example, sensors could, uh, could get transcribed as sensors or an SSH session turns into an exercise session. Uh, so what we do is then we have angels working on these transcripts and watching the talk at any speed they like and following along the transcript and correcting any mistakes in there. And then at the end, they've, they've seen the talk and we have a transcript that is an accurate transcription of the talk. And then the next step is to go from that transcript to a subtitles um, track that is aligned to the audio. And again, we use software to, to kind of automate that a bit. We plug everything into YouTube and YouTube takes the transcript and the talk. And in most cases, we get a nice subtitles track that is mostly correctly aligned out of that. And well, to check if it really is, again, we let angels watch the talk and um, see the, the subtitles track in parallel with that and check if everything is correctly aligned. And if not, then fix the alignment. And once that, have, uh, that is done, well, again, the angels have seen the talk and we have a finished subtitles track that then gets released. Okay. So if, if I want to be an angel at the subtitle team, what should I bring? Where should I be? Where should I call to? Okay. So, um, of course, if you want to help to, um, transcribing talks or, or doing quality control, so turn talks into subtitle tracks, then you're welcome to do so. What you should do is uh, come to one introductory meeting. Um, there's meetings at 11 and 3 p.m., so 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, on, on days one and two, and maybe further meetings on later days if needed, um, where we will tell you how subtitles should look and what, what flaws to look out for and what gotchas there are explain how the Kanban board works. Uh, what you need is 
well, actually, you don't really need anything. You should have a keyboard or some other way to input text into a computer. And that's essentially it. It might be helpful if you can hear the actual talks. Um, you don't need to see anything if that works for you. So, um... so if you want to join the subtitles team, go to the wiki. Um, you're going to see the, the link over here and uh, ask them if you can help as an angel. As you heard, the subtitles need a lot of people, a lot of help to be as good as they are at all our C3 events. And thank you very much. Go on to your next talks. Oh, <laughs>